Hey guys, Mick Hayes back again. We're gonna use that same jam track we used earlier this week. I'll put the link in the description below. Today we're gonna to kind of talk about where that, that Albert King and Stevie Ray lick that everybody knows, where that lives. And also we're gonna throw a little flair in there from Billy Gibbons, check this out. This one's this one's personal to me uh this is stuff that again this is kind of the trap like once you learn how to do this you you tend to use it too much you overuse it uh but either way it's really great it's a great nod to a number of my heroes and, and yours as well okay so we're back in a minor for now and uh, again this is all part of that blue bo blues box <laughs> And again, just like we talked about in the video yesterday, there's a lot of phrasings that you can do here, okay? But the essential ones are, are uh, <clears throat> you know, that, that bend, which is, I mean, that takes some strength. And again, I've got all three fingers on that. And again, my thumb is muting over anything that would be noisy in the, in the, uh, <laughs> in the uh, open string territory. And so is actually my palm a little bit. And again, so that one I tacked with a rake. So now you're stuck with only two fingers of strength. That kind of takes some practice. And then the walk up is exactly as you would assume. I like to do that sometimes. I'm sure I got it off of a record, but it's a nice little uh, way of kind of giving your hand a break. Lots of ways to kind of end it, but you seem to kind of go back to it. And then the Billy Gibbons thing that I got, thats this is literally off Blue Jean Blues on the Fandango record. And that's... That bend is... It, it, it's definitely got... You gotta put some muscle into it, but it sounds great, it's worth it when you get it. So I'm actually bending ahead of the note that I intend to land on. It's actually something very similar to what Steve Lukather does in a lot of his stuff, but that's a, a video for another time. But So a lot of that is upstrokes. A lot of times, uh, myself and a lot of other players will grab that with our fingers. Um, that really gets you a little closer to the Albert King sound of that if you're using your fingers. Because you, you kind of grab three strings at that point, bent. And I know you recognize that sound, but yeah, that's three strings. And, and again, kind of hard pick right on all three of them. It, 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 my fingers definitely hurt. I'm just going to be honest with you. But it's worth it. It's just like anything else in life. heavy, heavy bends. These strings on this guitar right now are tens. 
Uh, and it's, it's, it's laborious, trust me. A lot of that is just going to be practice. And I've had guys ask uh, in the past about how to anchor your hand with that. And it's really more of a, sh a lift. You can see how my shoulder comes up there. It's not moving the guitar. And I see a lot of people that like, they'll try to get this thing going. And it's not, it's, it's, an, it's an angular thing. You're kind of... Out of that is expression again like we talked about yesterday so i hope this gives you some inspiration if i've left anything out and you've got a question you guys see that i'm responding to everything in the comments so go ahead and leave it below if you missed our video yesterday from new guitar day i thought that was kind of fun and exciting uh but i did kind of put that in a category or a, a playlist they have here uh, and I'm calling that the herd and I'm going to actually introduce you to each of my guitars and all that kind of stuff some of the gear that I use pedals that I use and we'll call that the herd and then if anything ever goes up for sale guess what we'll be doing thinning the herd so have a great weekend guys thanks so much for tuning in and we'll see you next time